Welcome to the House of Ham. This is Bob WV7W. And as I was uh, first got on QRZ this morning, I noticed this little uh, thing here, uh, the Yesu FTM 500D announced. And so I was like, hmm, new radio. Let's take a look at this. So I clicked on this and uh, not a lot of information here. Um, just uh, kind of a more of just a post by, uh, um, looks like KI5SAI. Uh, and then um, saw a couple of YouTube videos, uh, temporarily offline, and Smoke and Eight both did uh, videos, and uh, they refer to uh, Martin Lynch and Sons, a uh, great, uh, great uh, radio retailer in Great Britain. Um, they do some pretty good videos as well, um, but they are taking pre-orders for the five, uh, for the FTM 500 DE, which is the European version of this. So um, not a lot of real information on this yet. So Smoke and Ape had found this site here, this Ham Life, um, and, and he's, he's really good at research and stuff. So I will link both his and T.O.'s videos as well so you can get that you know information from them. But when you first go to this, you notice that it's all in Japanese. And up in the, up in the right here, you can see, or you can switch it to English so you can at least read it. Um, so it says on the night of February 3rd, 2023, uh, Yesu launched the two-band mobile machine, the FTM 500D. So uh, 50 watts for here in the States and uh, for the DS, which I think is Asia's 20 watts. Um, and it'll be uh, C4 FM, so Yesu System Fusion, and then Analog FM. Uh, and it also mentions the AESS, which is was first uh, announced on the Yesu FT710, their latest uh, HF radio. Um, so if, as you scroll down here, it, it talks a little bit about it, and it's going to have a touch panel. Um, and then it talks about this dual speaker system, this AESS. And it, so it looks like it's actually built into the control head. Um, so most of the other mobile rigs, the speaker's actually in the radio body and i think there is a speaker on the radio body as well um, but it'll have this which is kind of interesting so if you look at my um, older ft7900 that's uh in my uh, truck um, it uh, i have to have an external speaker because i have the control head mounted to my dash and then i've got the actual radio itself in my console and so I wouldn't be able to hear it. So this is kind of an interesting concept to actually put it on the control head. I mean, the control head looks pretty small, so it'll be interesting to see what kind of uh, sound quality this has out of this little speaker. So um, other than that, it's uh, got some, base, you know, some pretty common um, uh, features that you would expect out of a, you know, a modern uh, YSF radio, um, you know, digital radio from Yesu. Uh, one of the things it mentions is this uh, funneled air convection conductor cooling system. So I'm not sure what that exactly means, but, uh, you know, it, it, is it just a different way of uh, channeling the air through? I don't know. Um, you know, it supports Wires X, of course, pretty much all their radios, uh, their uh, VHF, UHF radios have had that for many years, so that's nothing new. Um, it, uh, as we go down here, it's got Bluetooth, so that's, that's pretty good. Um, and then, um, you know, the transmission range on it is basically 2 meters and 440 for us. Um, and then it's got, uh, as far as reception, in addition to the ham bands, It'll do air band receive, um, which is pretty cool. I've had uh, people ask uh, why no, you know, why can't you transmit on air band on any of the of the radios um, that can receive it? You have to understand air band is AM, and uh, as where all our radios are are FM, and and you know even the digital stuff is just a uh, digital over FM. So uh, to be able to you'd have to have you know the capability to uh, have a modulator for am to be able to transmit and they're not going to put that in there since it's not licensed for that segment 
But uh, looks like uh, reception is basically from 137 to 174, uh, and then 174 to 400, and then 400 to 480, and then 480 to basically a gigahertz. So it covers a pretty broad range of frequencies. Um, like I mentioned, you know, 50 watts here in the U.S., so 50 for the high power, 25 for the mid, and 5 for the low power. Um, so not a lot of information on this yet. You know, we'll have to see what comes out of this. Um, both uh, T.O. and Smoke and Abe had mentioned that there'll probably be some, um, you know, official U.S. announcement of this possibly at Hamcation and maybe even get to see it. You know, so, so I would be looking for folks that have gone there to be able to, to give us some more information on it. So just wanted to mention it since it, uh, it's starting to get out there and, and become knowledge. And uh, so until next time, 73s.